Hello and welcome to Up The Villa podcast. If you are new to our channel, subscribe, drop this video a like. Let's have a like target of 450 and get involved in the comment section down below on everything that I discuss in this episode. Aston Villa have got a massive, massive week ahead of them. And in particular, Steven Gerrard has got a massive, massive week in front of him now. Um, I would say I was probably a little bit harsh after uh, the game against Chelsea. Um, I was just really, really annoyed, really frustrated. And I felt like everything was just bubbling up inside me. And um, yeah, my frustration was there. And, and I think it's a frustration for every single Villa fan. So yeah, I was bitterly frustrated uh, against Chelsea. Um, you know, I thought that they were there for the taking, weren't they? Especially in the first half. But our chances just... We just couldn't put them away. But like I say, we've got a massive, massive week ahead of us now. We've got two games on paper. Um, I know Villa don't do games on paper and and looking at getting the results from games on paper. You know, we should be beating the teams that we've been playing against, to be fair. A lot lot of points that have been dropped that that have put us in this position that we're in now. We're 16th in the Premier League, a point above the relegation zone after 10 games. And it's 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 just simply not simply not good enough. It, it's it's not good enough. Um, from what I'm thinking, I, I think it's just terrible that we're in this position. To be fair, we, we wanted to to finish in the top half this season, and it, it's just not good enough. It's totally unacceptable, in my opinion, for us to be languishing near the relegation zone. And and things have got to change, and things have got to change fast. And like I say, we're going into Fulham away, which is. You know, we've got a torrid record at Craven Cottage, absolutely woeful. And then we're going to be backing that up again against um, Brentford on Sunday. Again, a team that we've got a, an absolute horrid record against. We just simply can't seem to can't seem to beat Brentford recently, can we? So two really, really difficult games, and we've got we've got to get we've got to get in my opinion, minimum, minimum four points. And, and and that's that's a minimum from those two games. So news coming out this evening is that Aston Villa will move heaven on earth for Maurizio Pochettino. That's coming from the Telegraph. Um, so there's noise around Pochettino, which is brewing now. It's bubbling along and um, it looks like we will turn our attention. If we can't get Pochettino, we will move for Unai Emery and Thomas Tuchel. Now, I said a couple of days ago that Tuchel would be my dream manager for Aston Villa if Steven Gerrard gets the sack. And I think it would be very difficult for us to entice Tuchel to Villa. It's nice that we are linked with those types of, and calibre of those managers all on the European stage. And I just think it's just important that if Gerard does go, that a football coach comes in who can bring us an identity, who can bring us a philosophy. And that's just simply what we're lacking. Um, so the news this evening is that Pochettino is being targeted by Aston Villa. Um, and I think majority of Villa fans would absolutely love Pochettino to come into the football club. So uh, with his style of play... You know, his philosophy on football, you know, you know a lot of things that he's achieved in the game. He got Spurs into the Champions League final. Uh, and I just think with that, say from every contingent, that it would, it would, it, there would be a suit there, which, which I think would be really good. I think Gallardo from River Plate as well would be another one, but I think that would be a, a massive, massive risk. But for Steven Gerrard this week, I'd expect him to go with a similar sort of shape that we saw against Chelsea. It worked first half. Second half, it, you know, it, it didn't work as good, did it? But it, it, we're now in a stage where we've got to try and stumble across a system that's that's going to work against teams that, on paper, we should be getting results from. We saw against Forest, we saw against Leeds that... We struggled to break sides then that played a low block. I think 
Brentford and Fulham probably wouldn't be as defensive as Forest, so I think they would have a go. And I think it's going to be um, sort of like end to end football in both of those games. I, I imagine there's going to be there's going to be goals because I think. Fulham aren't in great form. Villa aren't in great form. Fulham are scoring goals. Villa aren't. But we've got to we've got to find a way to be more creative and, and start putting the chances away. We created numerous chances against Leeds. We couldn't take them. We created numerous chances against Chelsea. We couldn't take them. Kepper played really well, um, and I just felt my frustration and my thoughts sort of coming off the back and once I've calmed down a little bit after the Chelsea game was it and I stick by what I'm saying I just felt in the second half when Chelsea made the changes at half time there was going to be a bit of a momentum shift and I just felt like we were still just waiting we were waiting for something to happen and 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 I just I just knew that they were going to grow into it and be more dominant and I just in the back of my mind, I just felt like if they got that goal, it's simply game over, and and, and that's what happened, and and that's my, my that's my massive massive frustration, and, and I think that's been one of my frustrations since we've been in the Premier League. It's that we we've played well so many times against these top sides, and and bar in the city, and and and, and a game like that, we we just never seem to have a 90-minute performance against the top sides. Remember Chelsea last season away? First off, we were brilliant. We lost. You know, we've played well against Liverpool. Um, we've played well against United away. And, 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 and Well, we won, but in the FA Cup, we we couldn't win, could we? And we played decent at home against them last season. Spurs, numerous times we've played well against them. So I think that was a bit of my frustration yesterday as well, that, you know, I watched a couple of the Chelsea fan cams afterwards and they were all saying that first half they got absolutely battered and they were lucky to come away with anything. And I'm just like, it's typical Villa, man. Like, we, we did well and then we just we just can't finish these sides off and we just can't put our chances away. So, all in all, it was a massive, massive frustration for me. Um, and I think the pressure is massive, massively on Steven Gerrard this week. It feels, it feels like he's got to save his job this week. You know, it feels like if we win and there's not a performance, and if there's a performance and not a win, if there's no goals, it it, it feels for me going into this week, and this is sort of like a mini pre preview from me. It feels like we've got to get this week right. We have massively got to get this week right. And if we get it right, then I think it probably would keep Gerard in the job. But I do honestly think that if not, I do think he will leave after Brentford. And that, that's my thoughts. But Villa fans, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Villa fans, let me know your thoughts on this week coming up. Your initial thoughts going into the, the two games we've got. What are your thoughts on Pochettino? What are your thoughts on Gerard? Do you feel like we can get something out of this week? Do you feel like we can get two wins? Is it going to be a draw and a, and a win? Let me know what your thoughts are. Up the villa. <laughs>